Hey, it's Dante Four, back with the PC portion of my ComC Mail Day. So let's begin. There's that many cards there, and let's begin. This is the this is the Corey Perry pile, obviously a little bigger than the others. So first card, not a big card or anything. It's just a Darren Archibald Contenders uh, Gold Rookie Ticket, twenty of one hundred. For some reason, I've got a Darren Archibald collection growing, so. Yeah, that's a fine addition. I have the base version of this out of 800, so to get the uh, out of 100 is nice because they're kind of tough. These, uh, my Panini Choice Award collection, these triangle autographs, I've got so many of these. Here's one of Rodney Stuckey, one of 74. Not a huge card there. This one's a little nicer. Dennis Potvin. Yeah, hollow bronze, four of five. That's a pretty nice card. I love this design. One of my favorite designs ever. That's why I buy so much of these. On card. Great player, Hall of Fame. Very cool card. in pretty good condition too or not the back's actually scratched of course as I say it's in good condition the corners are fine front's all good that's all I care about so next is the uh, Anaheim Ducks portion there's not much here some of it was in my EPAC video which you should watch the EPAC steals video because lots of good stuff in there authentic moments um Panner gets off and Perry I originally bought this for the Corey Perry collection but I was going through it the other day and found that I already had one of these in there, so this can go still go in my uh, Ducks PC. Niedermeyer, Getzloff, and Raquel triple jersey. I don't know where the red's from. It's not a Ducks jersey, but you know that's a rookie for Raquel too. I might have this card already, but we'll see. I like these uh, star spotlight triple jerseys from what is this thirteen fourteen trilogy. This is a an insert set I'd like to see Upper Deck bring back. Cool design, cool theme, past, present, future. And the Josh Manson Speckled Rainbow Foil. Base. Now on to the LA Kings. The Jonathan Quick Perennial Contenders from 1011 Contenders. Nice card, foil, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's foil. It's also uh, the purple parallel, so that's a uh, out of 100. Austin Wagner, Ice Premieres, on the 9.99. This is an EPAC card, I think. Adrian Kempe, Ultraman Introductions, Gold Spectrum Autograph, out of 99. Cool looking card. Acetate. You know all the super cheap actually yeah this was an EPAC card. I remember who I bought this from. Hockey Chrisley, the uh, best seller on Compsy for uh, EPAC cards anyway. Probably uh, cards in general. Prices are just awesome. That was like two bucks. Curtis McDermott uh, Opeachy Update Black Rainbow Foil. This thing's in Never mind, I was going to say good condition. It's got a bad corner. This, I believe, was an EPAC card. 33-100. He doesn't have many cards, so... I wanted to pick one up. It's a good-looking card, too. Dustin Brown, 11-12 artifacts. Frozen artifacts. Dual jersey out of 135. Another great design. 11-12 artifacts. Good year. Speaking of a good-looking card... John Quick, 1314 Titanium. Uh, this is the Veteran Draft Parallel, I believe, out of 72. Really good looking card. Titanium, the red parallels. These look so good in person. The Daryl Evans uh, Masterpiece Brown Frame. Cool card. The thing I really like about 0809 masterpieces 
doesn't not every player in it's a big name. Obviously, Daryl Evans is not some Hall of Fame caliber big name player. I think he played like under 300 games in the NHL. But the thing about this product, it uh focuses in on some crazy moments and the super memorable moments in uh teams' histories and players' accomplishments, stuff like that. And this is one of those cards, of course. Daryl Evans, the greatest comeback in the NHL playoff history, it says on the back. And then Evans completed five goal deficit to knock off the Oilers six to five in a game that came to be called the Miracle on Manchester. Yeah, it's a really cool thing. I wish Upper Deck would do that with a do that again with some lesser known players or non star players. Make a product sort of going over. Uh crazy milestones and uh moments stuff like that it's a trevor lewis autographics from 1213 fleer retro kind of cool these are cool from 1112 prism everyone's hyping up 1112 prism oh in fact or not 11 12 12 13 invest 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 in prism I just got these because I like it. This is the Father's Day Pulsar of Anze Kopitar. This thing is just wild in person. Looks so good. And follow that up. With the cracked ice of the same card. I love the 1213 Prism design. It's something I've always been high on. I have 1213 Prism cards from back in the day. It's been something... So then a design I've really liked. Should have bought more basketball because it would be quite valuable now, but that's okay. I'm happy with these and the ones I have from before. And last cards, another campaign, Ultimate Introductions. Now on to the Corey Perry stack, and there's, I think, 35 cards in here for my uh, Corey Perry collection. My extensive Corey Perry collection. So let's begin. Ultimate base from, I think, 1617 out of 99. No okay, cake looking card. This is a funny card. This is a Metal X from 0809 Upichi, I think, update hockey. The interesting thing about this, you see the sort of lightning bolt texture? What Upper Deck did to get that, they must have, they definitely put these cards under some intense heat. If you've ever microwaved a chrome card, which this is, it always comes out with this rainbow. It'll spark up and come out with this uh, lightning sort of look to it. It's really, it looks really cool. And it's kind of funny how Upper Deck would do that to get, uh a look like this for a product i mean there's a lot of these metal x cards out there so they must have been microwaving or whatever a ton of cards because that is not some sort of normal thing uh that's not like a design or something you normally see it's not natural because this is like an after effect you zap the card and it becomes all lightningy so that's interesting all these wondered why upper deck would do that but makes for a cool card something i was doing when i was like 12. cory perry blue cubes out of 65 one off the jersey number another prism card invest in prism uh blue prism walmart prism cory perry yeah i don't know if uh investing in prisms the uh, wisest thing to do especially with the base cards, but eh, whatever. I'm happy with a selling of a lot of them. I've been selling a lot, so. Corey Perry, 38-150 gold script. Terrible picture, but whatever. Whatever. Yeah, the Prism hype is a little ridiculous, I think. I've been, I sold a 1213 Ovechkin Prism base for 70 bucks. 1314 Kawhi Prism base with a scratch on it for like I also think 70 bucks. Sold some soccer base card from a 2018 World Cup Prism. I think Marcus Rashford for 
something like eighty dollars, something crazy like that. I don't know. I think the hype, especially around the base cards, is a little too crazy. Here's a silver foil, by the way. I don't think a lot of you have seen this. The uh, silver foils for this year's uh, upper deck. There aren't many of these around, I do not believe. There's certainly not many of these around. The speckled, uh, the Series 2 speckled foil. For this year. Oh, there's a big printer line down the side. Oh, well. But yeah, these aren't, uh, there aren't many of these out there on eBay or in people's hands at the moment. They look pretty cool. Nice and shiny, of course. Those are E-Pack cards, of course. Here's a couple more E-Pack cards. The blue and gold glossy OPG updates. Corey Perry. The uh, purple pixel. I already have one of these, so I'll probably just put it in a mystery pack or whatever. Uh, All-Star jersey. Two color. Uh, this is a cool one. I bought one of these on eBay a long time ago and it never showed up. Uh, blue Ice from, I think, 40, yeah, 14, 15 Fleer Showcase Blue Ice. Team Canada jersey. You gotta love Team Canada stuff. It's out of 99. Yeah, pretty good looking card, eh? I like it. Not the only Corey Perry Team Canada card in here either. There's a really nice one that I really like coming up. Don't see too many Corey Perry All-Star Game jersey uh, picture cards. Had to pick this one up, Banner Year. Not a big fan of the Banner cards, but still pretty cool. The 2016 All-Star Game, in which John Scott played in. Uh, here's another Corey Perry card. This one's got Logan Couture on it. 17 of 65 quad jersey. Here, These two are cool. Hardware Heroes from... 11 12 probably yeah 11 12 black diamond so a heart trophy of course these are both out of 100 that one's 15 and the rocket richard out of 130 of 100 pretty cool cards I like the uh trophy cards and stuff like that and exclusives out of 150 of 100. Cousin Contours have one of those, I think. This is the other cool candidate card I was talking about. Clear Cut Program of Excellence. Corey Perry, look at how good that card looks. Got the uh, old school Team Canada logo, or what you'd see on the jersey on the back. Number 24, Corey Perry with the captain patch. Super cool. Super cool. Really good looking card too from 1718 Canadian Tire. Team Canada. Another Prism card. Corey Perry Cracked Ice from 1314. I'm going to take these out of the sleeves to get a good look. The best look. Prism. Hype's a little crazy, but you can't deny the cards look good. This is a 6 of 30, by the way. You want to some rookie stuff. Beige rookie from Park or not Parker's Beehive. I think I have all of the uh, Beehive rookies of Corey Perry now. 0506 Ultimate Debut uh, Threads. 35 of 250. Pretty good looking card for 2005. Marquee Attractions from the same products. Uh, 170 of 250. Now some jersey number 10 of 25. Superscript, Corey Perry. 10 of 100, uh, black from 1112 OPG. Another good design. Another really, really good design. 10 of 35 from 1011 Artifacts. Dual jersey blue. Love 1011 Artifacts. I should open another box. Micro motion, this isn't even numbered out. I don't know why this is at the end, but yeah, these micro motion cards are cool. If you saw my old peachy video from a while back, 0708, I like those cards. And finally, we have three cards from um, 1718 Upper Deck. We got the Silver Foil, the Exclusive, 
was it, 87 of 100 and the midnight, uh, 1725, which means I've completed a rainbow for the first time for a sort of a main card like this. Uh, I've completed rainbows before, but not like super, uh, super uh, big ones. I have like three card rainbows. Huh? Who cares? This is a uh, seven cards. Uh, so there's the base. Yeah, clear cut. Yeah, silver foil, which I just got. Exclusive, just got. The uh, speckle foil. The uh, midnight and the high gloss. I think that's it, not including um, plates, of course, but I think that's it. I think I've got the rainbow done, so that's cool. Happy with that. And that concludes the uh, PC portion of my Comsi mail day. That is it. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think.